is Kyle Merkley, and I am a music supervisor for film and television. My job is to take the producer's vision and enhance it through music. So I'm hired onto television shows, movies, documentaries, video games, anything that needs a soundtrack, and my job is to take the vision through songs, through original music, and the shape of them within the particular media to help tell the story. When it comes to picking out some of my favorite projects, I find that the most exciting part is always how different they can be. So when it comes to working on a television show like Murdoch Mysteries, it takes place in the early 1900s. That lends itself to a particular type of music. At the same time, I could also be working on a television show like Bomb Girls, which takes place in the 40s. And then I can be working on an intergalactic sci-fi show that takes place in some completely made up universe. And so every project kind of brings with it its own individual styles and tastes of music that we can bring into the show. And I, that's kind of what I find to be my favorite uh, part of being on a project is just that everyone's different. I got into this particular line of work through just being active within the music industry and the Canadian music industry specifically. I spent time playing in bands, uh, you know, we had the chance to, you know, play shows and go on tour and I got to play on Entertainment Tonight Canada, I got to play on Much Music, and then as I began to meet more people, more industry professionals, I became familiar with what music supervision even was and realized that a lot of the skills I had through playing in bands, through going to school for music business and uh, my experience with, you know, just living and breathing a lot of entertainment period throughout my life, I never realized that my passion for film and television could ever be married with my passion for music. When I did, I realized this is what I should be doing. Whenever someone asks me how to find their way through the Canadian music industry or to do what I do specifically, which is music supervision, I always tell them to keep a very open mind. The use of music and how it enhances our lives is, is changing every day. There's always a new way to come at it, a new way for, for music to be used. So I always just tell people to not try and follow a path, but to, be, to, to create and find some other way. So having an open mind and open discussions with other people, sometimes in other industries, and that's kind of how I do it too, is I stay in touch with people that are figuring out what the new kind of entertainment's gonna be. And so if that's augmented reality, if that's virtual reality, whatever that is, how can music be a part of that? So I, I always say be creative. Something I've noticed in terms of how technology and music can play together is that there was a time when the record business was booming and, and everything kind of centered around that. And particularly over the last five, 10 years, now that's not the case. Now everything's centered around the use of music and entertainment and that's why a lot of people are starting to say that music supervisors are the new a and R because we are the people that are able to create the, 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 taste, the taste profiles for so much that people are taking in and our power to influence kind of what the movements are and music and trends is far more uh, active in what we're doing than record label a r nowadays. What's very prominent now in the music industry, and in all forms of entertainment for that matter, is the ability for more and more niches to be uh, found, for you to find that one specific type of music, that one specific type of entertainment, and to be able to access it. The access to different types of entertainment is easier now than it's ever been. There's more music now at your fingertips than there's ever been before. and for people to be able to kind of find their tribes, to find the kind of stuff that they really dig is something that wasn't always available before. So now you get super specific into genres and uh, you're able to find the other people that are also into it and share with, within those communities. One thing that 
I always have to give a lot of props to is Canada. Our infrastructure offers a lot of different communities and groups of support that have events that people can attend and meet other like-minded individuals and these are provincial organizations as well as federal and they exist all throughout the country and a lot of them communicate to each other so you have Ontario groups that are communicating with BC, communicating with Manitoba and so there's a lot of sharing of information and beyond that there's a lot of resources that they provide to artists that allow people to further communicate and now there's also the internet, so it's very easy to kind of find people's contact information that perhaps you should take it for a coffee sometime. The thing now, which is both the greatest thing about music and the worst thing, depending on where you sit, is there's more access to music than there's ever been, but there's also more access to music than there's ever been. And having your voice, particularly if you're a musician or a manager of a musician, or you want to start a record label or a publisher is getting your music above the noise and you know that's existed before but now with how much there how many bands and artists there are out there it's hard and all you have to do is just find a way to amplify your individuality and why people should care about you and uh, it's uh, becomes so difficult that I don't have the answer for it but every day I see it happening Every day I see someone come up with some creative video that, be go that goes viral. Someone comes up with some song that features an artist that lets them stand out over people that are also playing similar music. It's all about finding your competitive advantage and, and running with it. In terms of the next step in my professional endeavors, I think right now what I'm trying to focus on is that it not be music specifically that it reaches out further into the entertainment realm and what that means. So where that goes, I'm not sure, but I'm applying a lot of the same ideas I always share with people is that, you know, the best ideas you're going to come up with aren't going to be from sitting at home. They're going to be from exploring life, from meeting new people and discussing new ideas with them. So right now, I just look forward to brainstorming. Cool. Awesome. I blocked out for that entire thing. Yes. Thanks for.